February 5th. It's been three days since Grandma passed away. We were close, but I hadn't seen her in a few months. I now regret not making the time. Note to self, always make time for those you love. I know I can't put it off any longer. It needs to get done, but I'm scared. Tomorrow. I promise I'll do it tomorrow. February 6th. I finally mustered up the courage to go down there. I've had an unreasonable fear of that basement since I was a kid. I can't quite remember what happened, but I do recall a feral cat that came out of nowhere. It scratched me as it dashed by, and I swear it looked at me like it knew who I was. It was a few months after my grandpa passed. I think I was seven or eight. It was as I remembered it, everything dusty and dark. In the back of a pile of boxes and junk, I saw it, a white cloth covering something large. I had a faint recollection of it from my childhood. I don't know why, but something told me not to pull off the cloth. I plucked up my courage anyway. Screw it. There's nothing to be afraid of. A decision I'd soon regret. I pulled back the cloth to find a painting of a cat. That's all it was. Some odd artwork Grandma must have purchased years ago and forgotten about. Little did I know that this was just the beginning. February 7th. I woke up with a strange sensation. I don't quite know how to explain it, but I had dreamt of cats all night. I found myself searching through drawers for a ball of yarn to play with. Even my hunger had changed. All I could think about was a nice, fresh fish. What's wrong with my mind? March 3rd. I haven't written in here in a while, and truth be told, I don't know how much longer I can. More things have been happening. My body is changing before my eyes. It feels awkward to walk up right now. And hair is starting to grow all over me. My ears and eyes are also changing. Everything is changing. What am I becoming? April 27th. This final entry. No longer able to write proper. Speaking okay. Fingers. No fingers. Toes. Claws. I am become cat. Should be right around here. I'm almost on top of it. Keep your eyes sharp. We don't know what's lurking around. Oh, abort! Abort! Get me out! How many times? Turn on the VPN. With Atlas VPN, you can block annoying ads and malware like the old man. I spent all my cash on this plushie, though. Seriously? Atlas VPN is running a huge discount right now. $1.99 a month for three years and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Time's almost up. You can even use it to get the best deals online. I warned you about keeping your Google searches private, didn't I? Sorry! That new anime was only available in Japan! Use Atlas VPN and access Japanese Netflix, you weeb. Gloss. Install it all on your devices, would you? Fine! Look. It's super easy to install, and the options are clear. Even Chen could understand. Hey! Get it now for $1.99 a month with a 3-year subscription and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Time's almost up. Click the link in the description below. Got your nose right in it, eh? Someone has to do the work around here, you know? That's what I've been saying this whole time. So, when do you intend on helping out? Uh, funny, we all know who actually works the longest hours here. Thank you for appreciating my effort. I meant me. Oh, my bad. I thought I heard you say working, not gaming. Uh, -huh, Mr. Comedian. What you working on anyway? I was going through the archives, trying to find any SCPs that could have a relation to our old friend Cyrus. What's his modus operandi? From what we've seen, anything to do with human hybrids. And did you find any? Unsurprisingly, there are a number of them. But this one in particular is interesting. It's, it's a diary of a young child gone missing. What happened to them? Well, the last entry makes it sound like they became a half-cat furry. So what exactly are we looking for? SCP-3270, uh, found it. Well, 
that's strange. What is? The painting they refer to in the diary, it's not here. Check the history log. Okay. Noob, noob. Ah, here we go. Well, I'll be. What is it? You wanted to speak with me. Yes, Professor. I've been trying to find out more about Cyrus and at the same time looking for SCPs that could be of interest to him. Good plan. What have you found? Well, this, SCP-3270, it's a painting of a cat. What's its anomalous property? From what I gather, it turns the viewer into a cat hybrid. The viewer seems to retain the ability to speak and their memories from being human. I see. And you think Cyrus might find this useful in whatever he's doing involving human-animal hybrids? Yes. The problem is, it's already been checked out. Let me guess. 055? Exactly. Who is 055? The current owner of that position is unknown to me. As you know, I was only aware of the previous occupant. What exactly led to his being terminated? As we spoke before, he was conducting unethical experiments with human hybrids. When the Overseer Council learned of just how far his experiments had gone, they demanded he stop. That didn't go over well with him. The last time I saw him was when he left the Council in a rage, telling them they were relics of the past, unmovable objects of antiquity. Either him or something else would show them the path to the future. They were the equivalents of Ludites to him, fearful of change he would bring forth upon them. After that, we were told he had been fired or retired. As you are aware, it isn't always easy to spot the truth in the Foundation. What is the relation between Cyrus and 055? There's something we're missing. You continue looking into this cat picture, and I'll see if I can find out a little more about the current 055. Just a little further. It was right around here. Ah, this should be it. Can you hurry up? The dust in here is triggering my allergies. Hang on. This wasn't here last time. That looks like a painting. It was returned yesterday. 055 knows we're onto them. We need to be careful. We don't know what we're up against yet. So what's our next move? Let's get a D-class and run some experiments. I want to see exactly how this painting transforms the viewer and if we can stop or reverse the process. D-class, do you understand what you have to do? He just has to stand there, like a piece of corn. Will you just let me do my job? All right, all right. Don't get touchy. You can view the painting now. Cover it now, please. That was absolutely fascinating. Definitely one of the more amazing SCPs we have. Shut it. It takes time. We'll get daily reports and see how it goes. Thank you, D-Class. You're dismissed. Well, that went to plan. Didn't you want to reverse it or stop it somewhere along the way? This is the control. Now that we know what happens, we can try altering the process with the next D-Class. I thought the kid in the diary only became half a cat. I think she couldn't write any more after that. With, with the paws. Ah. How do you feel? Um, okay, I guess. Other than being a freaking cat. Anything you want to tell us? Meow, I guess. Idiot. We'll be back tomorrow to check on your progress. Get it? Progress? Unfortunately, yes. Dr. Claus, your D-Class. What about him? I mean, it. It's 
been confiscated. Confiscated? By whose authority? Sir, 055. That's it. I've had enough of this. It's ridiculous. I'm going to speak to 055 myself. Chen, let's go. Do you believe this? Unbelievable. Take it down a notch, Doc. These 05 guys aren't playing around. I don't care anymore. They just can't keep taking my... You! Dr. Kloss, Agent Chen, this is your final warning. There won't be another. Back off. <laughs> Foolish child. How dare you? 05-5 is beyond reproach. You were warned. How did he get in here? I don't know, but we better get him looked up before he comes too. He'll be secure in here for the night. Good. Tomorrow we'll interrogate him and get to the bottom of this whole mess. You hear that, Doggo? Your time's up. We've got ways to make you speak. Get yourself checked out in the infirmary. I'll see you first thing in the morning to get some answers. How did he get in here? And why does he care about 055? Sleep, Chen. Ugh. I'm never going to get to sleep until I'm sure that dog is locked up. What the... Hey! How'd you get out? Whoa! What the hell are you? Was that? Catman. That's it! What's what? When the painting went missing, the Wolfman must have given it to Cyrus to create that half cat, half man. Another experiment. Either that Catman is only halfway through its transformation, or 055 figured out how to permanently stop it. Then he sent the Catman in to rescue the Wolf. Exactly! But what does that have to do with 055? Isn't it obvious now? 055 is Cyrus. SCP-3270, object class, safe. 3270 is a painting depicting a cat resting on a pillow. Viewing 3270 directly or indirectly causes the viewer to undergo various physical and mental changes over the course of several months resulting in turning into a cat. The effect does not apply to copies of 3270, either through printing or recreation. Viewers of 3270 are to be classified as instances of 3270-1. 3270 is to be kept within a storage locker on Site-64. All photos of 3270 are to be deleted upon discovery, excluding photos of any copies of 3270. Instances of 3270-1 are to be kept at Site-88 but otherwise are allowed to roam the facility freely, with the exception of areas limited to Foundation personnel. Instances of 3270-1 are to be fed cooked fish and milk at regular intervals. Requests for toys and other amenities are to be approved by three Class B personnel on Site-88, though requests cannot exceed 30 US dollars in cost. We often wish we could change our circumstances, run away from it all, or become something entirely different. As the old saying goes, though, be careful what you wish for. As always, have a care, and remember to subscribe, like, and share, if you would. Until next time, farewell. <laughs>